One thing I took away from this game, obviously Spain did dominate in the end, but they started off, we, we saw bits and pieces of Spain where they didn't look so good. And Le Normand scored an own goal, unlucky. Yep. It is what it is. And I said, okay, but you know what? Now I want to see how they react. Because if you look at Spain from the last Euros, this would have shaken them. They would have done what you were talking about, the passing back and forth, the possession ball. Not this time. They finally faced some adversity, though they gave it to themselves, and they bounced back. And I think this is actually the kind of match that they needed to play ahead of Germany because they actually did go down. They knew what it was like to be down one. Spain haven't, you know, they've, they've beaten every team comfortably so far. But the way this team turned around, you know, it, they're the best team in the Euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact, fact, it's hard to go against. I think the thing that really impresses me about Spain is, you know, I talked about the possession, how they've moved away from that possession style. The way we think of Spanish football, we think of that. And uh, I think this was, like you said, they've been tested, but I feel like they haven't been put in an adverse situation until yesterday. And I feel mm -hmm. like, in a way, as backwards as it sounds, Georgia going 1-0 up was probably the worst thing for Georgia because Spain yeah, were like, oh, yeah. how, 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 it puts the flame under them. Yeah, and from then, as soon as then, as soon as Georgia went ahead, you could just tell Spain were, it was something kicked into gear, something changed, there was like a switch yeah. in the mechanism. And yeah. yeah, they were really impressive and put Georgia to the sword. And again, by committee as well, you know, we saw, who else? Rodri stepping up for <laughs> Spain. Man. You know, the classic Rodri just on the outside, keep it on the ground, just smack it into the corner. That was great. Fabian Ruiz got on the board as well. He had a fantastic game after, you know, the first 30 minutes, I'd say. But guys, I really need to talk about one player because I think he has been the player <laughs> of the tournament <laughs> and no one's changing my mind about this. Nico Williams. Mm. And... This is the thing. We were talk I was talking to producer Ben because he was saying, no, for me, it's Fabian Ruiz. And I said, listen, Fabian has been brilliant. He has been. And he was naming, you know, all the stats. Oh, you know, he had 100%. It's not about the stats. <laughs> Look That's at all. the football well, that exactly. Nico is playing. He's so free. He's hungry. He's going up against anyone. He's fearless, like Clinton always says. Yeah. I love the determination he has. I love him and Lamine, you know, playing on the wings together. Them to like... It's just there's, it there's makes something, me so happy. There's there's something about those two players. I think um, Spain are very lucky to have them for like um, these are two young lads. Like these are kids. Nice. You, you know they they are, they are not even up to lads yet. These are kids on the pitch in that kind of world. You know you you know I feel if I was if I was um, uh, the people they were playing against yesterday, um, I w I would sue Spain to court. Yeah, because I feel that's 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 an that's an insult to us. Like to bring kids to come violate us on the pitch <laughs> like that. And do you even know what even do you know? This is the point where it even got me more upset. After the game, they were doing their kid stuff. Um oh, on how to share with that. Like I'm like, wait, 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 they wait. Were now, literally now, now, like you guys are taking the piss. Like you don't win your opponent with a four. Neil, sorry, okay, it was a four-one. Sorry, four yeah, I mean it was a four-nil because it was at one goal. It was this, yeah, this caught the five goals. Right? <laughs> but it's the fact that you finish all of that, you, you 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 come off the pitch and you guys are doing that kind of game. As you know, this is you could clearly tell that they are kids, and these kids. Why is so crazy is the fact that they don't play as kids. They go into the pitch, forget their kids, and they start playing like people who have been playing football for the last 15 years of their life or the last 20 years of their life. Like, it's crazy because I was seeing what was going on between the two wings. Nico Williams there, and you have um, uh, Lamine Yamao. Thank you, nice Jesus. one! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you don't understand how many years. <laughs> don't leave me hanging, I've man. been trying Clinton, to make don't sure. leave me hanging. <laughs> In a way, though, um, they are still playing like kids in that sense. They're playing well beyond their age in terms of the maturity they're showing on the pitch and yeah. the ability. But they are playing like kids in that sense that they're just going out and they're having fun. Yeah, yeah, that's they're enjoying I mean. their football. Exactly they're taking I mean. shots. They're taking yes. on defenders. Yeah. It is the a joy to watch. Them, yeah. It, you know, it's, you could, yeah. You could, you could tell that somebody has probably said to them, go enjoy yourselves on the pitch. Just Does have that fun. Make sense? So nobody's coming to say to them that, oh, wait, no, you have to do this, you have to do that. No, they're just saying... Yo, you two. <laughs> See, in Nigeria, there's these two guys called Aki and Popo. Right? <laughs> Aki and Popo, they are like, um, they are like the legends of uh, Nollywood films, right? And they are two pairs. We used to think they were twins, but we didn't even know they were just friends. They were related. They refused to grow. 
Oh, sorry. Um, actually, one of them is a very, he loves my stuff on social media. So in case he sees this, please, um, Aki, I didn't say you refuse to grow. It was nature. They are just like that, <laughs> right? They are, they are small, but they are like fathers. You know, these are old men. I mean, not old, old men. Like, you know, these are like proper elderly, matured men. And there's, whenever any film they get on, just know that the film is, you are going to laugh till you die. Like, you have to make sure you have some kind of pill that will reduce you from <laughs> killing yourself when laughing, right? And they gave me Nico Williams and Laminia Mao. We're literally Aki and Popo in that game. And you will see an adult saying, two of you just go cause havoc. Because Aki and Popo, in any film they are in, they are causing havoc. Whatever it is, they are just havoc. This is all they do. So Laminia La Mal and Nico Williams yesterday, they were just giving me the vibe of, somebody said to them, you two coconut head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you guys were Nigerian. She would really understand <laughs> all these little words. You say, you two coconut head. Just go there and go just cause mayhem. And this is what these two boys have done. Mm -hmm. the, the, the heat is coming from the right from And then the heat is also coming. So you even as a defender defending against these two. And then you now have one of the most sophisticated midfield. I'm talking about Rodri. You now have Fabian Rui, who is like a magician. For me... What else are you looking for in a team? What else do you need in a team? Yes, Morata is a striker. I think Morata is still the... People think he's all right, he's there. But he's still some... He's not really been the fit for that perfect team yeah. when it comes to Spain. For me, I've seen better strikers probably who are not performing. But, you know, the, the Spanish team is just too much, man. Those two boys, Nico Williams. Hey! I like that, that they haven't lost that innocence in a way. They're... I hate it when quite often young players get criticised for maybe adding that flair element to their game, you know, trying to take on players with the keep the uppies it's and the... Flair. It's not like, um, I don't know what the word, I'm, like Garnacho, like very cocky. But like, they are having fun with but it. But in a yeah. way, I, I like it. Obviously, there comes a point when if you're doing it and it doesn't work, yes, stop, start playing proper football. Yeah. But I like the fact that they have the confidence, the fearlessness to, you know, do a few step overs. This is what, you know, growing up, you see these videos of, of Ronaldo doing the stepovers, yeah. Ronaldinho doing the keepy yeah. uppies or whatever. Yeah. It, it just it, it brings me back that sort of romantic feeling about football and that sort of magical element where you, you just enjoy watching them and you could sit there for hours and just watch these lads play. Yeah. They're, they're fantastic. I, I think that's the thing with Spain is they've been the most enjoyable football to watch as well. No, like I mean, they're just brilliant. And like Alex said, like you feel it's like a heartwarming feeling inside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, th that's, those are the things that we've lost in football, though. Mm -hmm. We've lost that ability to see football as some kind of entertaining sports instead of just seeing it as a sport that we just need goals. No, it shouldn't be just about goals. It should be more of how, you know, be the fans, people who are sitting at home, they want to, like you said, during the days of Ronaldinho, there were things you would see him do on, on the page. And the moment you hear that, he's, I mean, why, what, why do you think a lot of us still want to go watch Lionel Messi play, even after all these years he's entertained us? It's because we just know right. that somehow he's still probably going to do one of these things that will make you feel <laughs> like, this guy is a goat. Like, this guy is a God-level player. There's just something crazy. And this is what we've seen with the likes of people like Nico Williams. This guy is not scared at that age. And I just think that they say Juju walking in that guy. There's just something that's making me feel like, who gives you this boldness? And you see Yamao, um, um, you know, trying, there's something he does with his left leg. When he's, yeah. I'm like, wait, are you on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> you know, are you, are you, you, you just know that this is just natural. These are natural talents. You know, it's just so raw. Whoever is scouting these guys, this person deserves an award in, in some kind of Hollywood <laughs> walk of fame or whatever it is. But who, this, these boys are too good. Yesterday, I may have not maybe rated, you know, um, Laminia Mao because of a couple of games in Barcelona here and there. But just watching him in this tournament, this, he's, he's, he's a blessing to football. Welcome to the show, I've been telling you guys. Back. This means that Spain are now taking on... Germany, yes, in the quarterfinals. What feels like <laughs> the final of the Euro, in my opinion.